Hello, this is part two to how to draw a cat. Today, I will cover the rest of the right face, chin, and nose. I hope you can learn from this tutorial. To start, I will grab my Grade Lavender Prismacolor pencil, and as I said in part one, I'll be using my set of 150 Prismacolors, for, and for my paper, I use Toned Gray Strathmore. I will use my Grade Lavender to lightly fill in the line space under the eye. I will also go in with a little white. We are adding the first layer, so make sure you do, you do it nice and light. Using my 50% warm gray, I lightly shade over where I added the purple. I'm going to stretch down and fill in part of the cheek as well. I'm going to grab my gray lavender again and fill in that section. Be careful how far you go down, you don't want to cover where the whiskers will be. Then I will raise my pencil lines as I go down so I don't color over it. I will also add some more lavender, which is, is a slightly darker shade of our grade lavender. I will use this just to darken the area a bit. Go nice and light though. Once more, I'll take that 50% warm gray and go over that purple area. Make it a little darker along the edges, but lighter towards the middle. I will next take a cloud blue and go over everything I just did, lighting it up. Don't press too hard, you don't want that blue to overpower or cover up what we just did. You just want to add some highlights. Try to mix it together by grazing over the area. Then go back in with that 50% warm gray, just add some extra details. I'll add in some white also and add a few strands of white highlights and just switch between these colors, continue to touch up at it, work at it until you're satisfied and you have smooth fur. Next, I will go in with some black, add a few hairs here and there, darken and mix the colors a little bit. Make a nice smooth transition between the black and then the light gray and purple. Next, I will use the same black to lightly sketch around the area, adding an outline. In order to keep moving forward, I'm going to erase my pencil marked whiskers. Then taking my white, I will carefully do a few strokes with it. Have your pencil tip sharp. Try to go slow. Once you have a light sketch of the whiskers, go over them to make them brighter, more visible. Try not to make them too thick though. Now, as I did in part one to this tutorial, I will take my 50% warm gray and outline the whiskers, filling in the spaces in between them. 
I will add gray lavender as I go along as well and just switch between the colors. I will also continue my black section too, blend it together smoothly and just switch between the warm gray and the grayed lavender and black filling in the spaces as you continue the pattern that we did above. Add in some white for those fine details as well. And as you see here, I will continue to add the cloud blue as well. And once I'm satisfied, I will take an indigo blue and very lightly shade over the lighter areas. And around the part of the face, I'm going to add some white fur, which belongs to the cat's chest. And as you go along, make sure to erase those pencil line marks. You don't want them getting mixed in with the colors you are putting down. After that, I'm going to go over and touch up anything that I see necessary or anything that I want to change. Just going over with the same colors that we were just using. Once I'm pleased with how everything looks so far, I am moving on to the rest of the cheek and chin. I will be using my black to outline the areas that will be black. And carefully, I will go in between the whiskers as we did before. I recommend taking your time, going nice and slow, making sure that you don't push that black too far into the white and make some mistakes. But if that does happen, take back your white and just touch it up a little bit. And once you do that, continue with your black to go in between those spaces. Once finished, fill in that small area with the grayed lavender and the 50% warm gray and fill it in the same way we did earlier. Start with the grayed lavender 
move on to the 50% warm gray and just slowly work at it. Towards the top of the area, I will add some black to darken it, and it will get lighter as it goes down. Go through it again and touch up the areas that you think need work done. Next, we will go back and take our black and work on the chin, lightly shading around the edges. I'm going to go in and make a few small white hairs with my white as well, then shade the remaining area with my grayed lavender. It's the same as before, same pattern. I am going to go in with my white and begin to fill in the white parts of the cheeks. There is a small white area on the right side of the nose and a fairly large one on the left. There's also one on the right side of the chin. Right under the cheek, where we left off with that dark black, through the whiskers, we're going to add a layer of that 30% warm gray and white, then fade it down darker with the black as we go along.
Once we get in that nice layer of black, we will make some 50% warm gray and fade it in a grayed lavender and add that as another layer underneath it, going all the way down to the end of the face. In my drawings, there are a lot of layers and there are a lot of areas where you work on it and continue to touch it up as you go along. So with my white, I'm once again going to go over it and touch up the areas that need touched up. Continue just to erase the pencil lines and add little details. We are moving on to the left side and it's the same thing. We are gonna add some white, but before that we will erase some pencil lines. We will also add some little small black hairs near under the nose where that white part is. Once I finish with that first white layer, I am going to work with my 30% warm gray and mix the colors together. There are areas where it's going to be brighter and some areas that where it's going to be darker. Then I'll take my eraser, once I'm finished, erase that borderline, and add in the white for what will stick out into the black fur later on. Once again, we will be doing the whiskers, and it's the same as before. Erase the previous lines, slowly go in with a sharp tipped white. These whiskers are going to be coming from the black fur, so don't add them into the white. Some of the whiskers are shorter, some are longer, and some of them even go off the page. Be creative with them, make the whiskers different from one another.
I'm going to add some gray dots slash lines to the cheek and briefly outline the white. The next and final thing I will do today is the nose. Using my black, I'm going to outline the nose and lightly shade in half of it. I will also take my indigo blue, go over it, and then, after that, switch to my 50% warm gray to lighten it up a little bit. Once it's filled in and smooth, I go back in with my black and add another layer. I make the line connecting the nose and mouth darker from the rest of the nose. And same with the little holes on each side of the nose. I erase my pencil marks and head in with my 50% warm gray and add some spots on top of the nose for detail. I take my white, cover the surface of the nose, and go back in with the gray and blend it out. I do a light coat of white on the remaining piece of the nose. Then I will go in with my grayed lavender, add a light coat, and go in with my hot pink, and then to lighten the surface, I will add some more white. There is a grayed area to the left, so using my 30% warm gray, I shade it lightly over the white, and I switch between that color in the white just to blend everything smoothly and I make the adjustments I need to just smooth everything out. Once complete, I use my white to color in the upper nose. The left side is a bright white. It's a pure white. So I'm gonna just color it white and leave it alone. The right is a grayish white, so I'm going to mix it in with some gray just to add that extra shadow and detail. I add some finishing touches by erasing the pencil marks around the nose, blend everything thoroughly, and add some white hair into where the black fur will be. And I will do that part in the next video.
And that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for part three.